If you would like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Welcome to Learn Chaos Engineering series. In this video, we are going to see how you can get started with Litmus Chaos on your AWS EKS. And then we are going to run some experiments on EC2. Before we get started, make sure you have the AWS EKS up and running with the latest version of Kubernetes. And then make sure you have the persistent volume of 20 GB and make sure you have the Helm 3 or kubectl. So in this demo, we are going to leverage the kubectl. Then we are going to apply this uh, manifest, which will install the litmus uh, 2.9.0. If you install the manifest as is, you might not be able to run the self agent successfully, but I have the uh, solution, uh, which we are going to see it in the demo. And then uh, we are going to patch the uh, service the basically the front end service here, Litmus uh, portal front end with the uh, load balancer. And then it will give you the uh, elastic uh, load balancer URL. And then once you log in successfully using the uh, default credentials, which is uh, admin and Litmus, you'll be able to launch it the uh, chaos center. Then we are going to uh, see whether the chaos agent is uh, successfully installed or not. So make sure this particular status uh, should be uh, active upon running. You may need to wait for a few moments before you see the active status. Then we are going to create the workflow. So workflow is nothing but the experiments. Here we are going to uh, kill the EC2 instance uh, by ID. And then uh, the total duration of the chaos is uh, 30 seconds. And if you click on this uh, show more environment variables, you can add the uh, region, uh, which is uh, US East 2 in my case. And once you start this uh, workflow, basically it will uh, trigger the uh, custom chaos workflow and then it will install the experiment and then it will fail. Because your litmus environment doesn't have any knowledge about your EC2 instance. Basically it cannot reach. So how do we uh, fix this? To make sure your litmus uh, namespace has the access uh, to your uh, EC2 uh, resource, you have to create the uh, secret. So here you can see the kind is a secret, which is the uh, Kubernetes object. And the name is uh, cloud secret by default. And inside this cloud secret, you are going to pass uh, two variables, access key ID and secret access key. So this will come from your AWS account. And then you have to apply this particular YAML to the default namespace, which is litmus. Once you successfully apply, then if you re-execute the uh, overall uh, the workflow, uh, again, it will start the custom workflow. It will install the experiment again. Then it will terminate your EC2 instance. So now your litmus will have the access to your EC2 resource, and then it will be able to successfully delete it. And during the revert chaos phase, it will automatically uh, spin up. Basically, it will go back to the previous state. So in this case, it will get deleted, then it will recreate. So using this uh, workflow, you can easily test your hypothesis. So what if your EC2 instance has gone and how your users will get react and what is the consequence in your environment? So this is the uh, hypothesis and experiment. So now let us see a quick demo on uh, AWS EKS. And then let us install the litmus chaos. We will install the uh, EC2 terminate by ID and then we mount the uh, secret and then let us see uh, how we can prove our hypothesis. So now let us see uh, my AWS EKS. So here if you use the get uh, namespace, uh, of course there is no uh, litmus namespace here because we are yet to create the litmus uh, chaos. So here I have the uh, litmus uh, 2.9.0.yaml uh, uh, here. And let us go inside the manifest using the uh, Vim. And then let us uh, search for a cluster IP. So here by default, whenever you install the default manifest from the litmus, this service, the front end service, uh, the type should be node port. So you have to convert it to a cluster IP. And uh, similarly, uh, there should be another uh, service the portal uh, server service here. So this also you should uh, make it as a cluster IP. 
So only these two changes you have to do. For your reference, I will add this YAML into my uh, GitHub repository. You can check it out. And let us uh, go back to the terminal. And then uh, let me launch my uh, Lens IDE. So this Lens IDE will be very helpful uh, to do uh, some of the uh, tasks on your cluster without entering any command. As you see here, by uh, default, let me uh, just go to the pod and let us select the uh, all namespaces here. And right now it is displaying the litmus uh, namespace, but actually uh, it is not there. Let me uh, reload this uh, lens ID so that uh, you don't see the uh, litmus uh, namespace. So right now, see, uh, there is uh, no litmus namespace. So only we have the default uh, node lease public and system uh, namespace. Now let us uh, go back to the uh, IDE and let us uh, apply the uh, kubectl apply hyphen f and then we are going to use the uh, 2.9.0.yaml. So once you hit enter, it will automatically create the namespace uh, litmus here as you see. And then it will create the uh, service account, secrets, uh, config map, deployment, service, everything. And then now let us uh, go to the lens IDE. And if you select the litmus uh, namespace here, you can see the pods, uh, the front end, auth server, and the Mongo, everything is up and running. Uh, actually, it is getting started. Eventually, it will be up and running. So now let, now let us wait for a few moment to make sure everything is up and running. Then we can install the uh, patch so that we will get the load balanced URL. So right now, all the pods are up and running. Now let us go back to the uh, terminal. Let me clear my screen. And then I'm going to apply the patch command. So this patch command will give us the load balanced URL. So just hit enter. So it will be patched. Now if you get the service, k get uh, service hyphen a, which will list out all the service. And here, if you see the type load balancer here for the uh, litmus portal front end service, and you will get the external IP. So now let me launch this IP in the port 9091. So this is the port you have to use. Now let me launch Firefox and go to the HTTP and the port 9091. Now let us give a few moment because the service uh, should be uh, reachable and then let us launch the UI. Okay, now our uh, chaos center is up and running. Now let us enter the username as uh, admin and the password as uh, litmus. This is the uh, default username and password. So once you logged in, it will prompt you to enter the new password. As of now, I'm going to uh, skip. So this is the home page of uh, chaos center. So in the left side, you will see litmus uh, workflows, chaos agents, hubs, analytics settings. As of now, uh, let us target only on the agent and the litmus workflows. So just to click on the chaos agent and here you are seeing the status as uh, pending. We have to wait for a moment uh, to become this status as active. Otherwise, you will not be able to create our workflows. Now let us wait for a few moments to get the status as active. Okay, now as you see the status is uh, active. Now it is time to create the experiment. Just go to litmus workflows and at the top right, just click on schedule a workflow and select the self agent here. So by default, it will list out the self agent. Of course, you can install multiple agents based on your requirements. In this case, let us go with the uh, self agent and click on next. And here as I explained in the last uh, video, there are uh, four different types where you can start your uh, creating the workflows, whether uh, you can use the YAML configuration or you can uh, use the uh, chaos hub, which is the uh, app store of uh, experiments. And then you can create it from the existing workflow or you can uh, create the workflow from the predefined uh, template. So in this case, let us go with the uh, chaos hub and select the uh, chaos hub from the drop down and click on next. And here you can uh, give your uh, workflow name. So in this case, let us give uh, say uh, AWS uh, EC2 uh, workflow, chaos workflow. 
and then optionally you can give some uh, description then uh, click on uh, next so here this is the place where you have to add your experiment so workflow comprises of experiments so to add a new experiment just click on add a new experiment button and here select the experiment type by quickly searching so in this case we are going with the id so i am going to select the ec2 terminate by id experiment and click on done so now the experiment has been added and the sequence number is one here but the namespace and application and other details are empty as per the uh, default uh, configuration to edit and add your termination id basically the ec2 instance id you need to click on the pen icon here just to click and follow the prompts so in this case the general experiment details uh, you can either change the name a context hub etc so in this case i am going with the default values and then again i am going to uh, make the annotation check as false i am going to click on next and i am not going to define any steady state uh, we can cover this in the upcoming uh, videos and in the tune experiment section i am going to uh, leave the chaos duration as 30 seconds and chaos interval as 30 seconds but in the ec2 instance id i am going to enter my ec2 instance id so for that I am going to launch my uh, EC2 instance uh, console here and as you see I have Nginx up and running and I am going to copy the instance ID and then I am going to paste it here and if I click on the show more environment variables I can configure the EC2 uh, sorry uh, AWS uh, region here which is US East 2 so this is the region where my instance up and running and then I'm going to click on finish. So next, just click on uh, next button here and adjust the weights for your experiment. Again, we are going to see uh, this concept uh, in the upcoming videos and click on next. And here you can schedule now or you can uh, configure the uh, recurring schedule. So in this case, we are going to execute the experiment right now. So just select schedule now button, uh, radio button here and click on next and then finish. So this will uh, display this message uh, successfully created and if you click on uh, go to workflow you can see the status is running. Just click on the name and here you can see the uh, graphical uh, view. So right now it is uh, trying to install the chaos experiments. Now if you go to your lens IDE and go to pods and uh, filter by uh, litmus uh, namespace here. Uh, there are a couple of pods got spinned up here uh, if you see here uh, uh, sorted by the age so 33 seconds ago there is a, a chaos workflow uh, pod got created and eventually there will be another pod which will uh, execute your experiment so now let us uh, uh, wait for a few moment and as you see there are two pods got created one is the terminate by id and the chaos uh, workflow so these are the pods which will uh, carry your experiment on the uh, EC2 instance. Now let us go back to the uh, chaos agent and here as we expected the experiment got failed because if you click on the logs and here uh, at the end you can see unable to patch the chaos resource required and then uh, EC2 terminate by ID unable to patch secrets to chaos experiment because we don't have any secrets mounted and litmus chaos doesn't have any knowledge about your ec2 instance so we have to grant the privilege for the litmus so that it can go and find the instance and then kill it so you have to give that uh, ticket basically so in this case we need to append the access key uh, secret key uh, to the uh, secret kind and then we are going to uh, apply that. So let us go to the EC2, uh, the terminal here and let us uh, see the uh, secret. So this is my experiment, EC2 terminate by ID uh, experiment.yaml. So this experiment.yaml has the uh, secret. So I'm not going to cat it out because it has my uh, access key and secret key. I'm not going to uh, show you the content of this YAML. So now let us apply uh, this secret. So this command will create the secret and it will uh, go to the uh, litmus uh, namespace. So now I'm going to hit enter. 
So as you see, a secret uh, got created. Now let us go to the uh, chaos agent and then let us uh, go to the litmus workflows and click on uh, schedules here and go to your uh, chaos workflow and click on this uh, button and then select rerun schedule. So now this will rerun the same uh, chaos workflow again on the same in situ instance ID. So now let us wait for this uh, experiment uh, to be uh, succeeded. So as the experiment is running, as you see, there is a new pod got created, uh, easy to terminate by ID. And then let us uh, go to the uh, EC2 uh, console here and let me uh, refresh this. So if you keep refreshing, uh, this Nginx will uh, go down, basically it will get deleted. Our experiment got failed because we forgot to add the uh, namespace uh, when we apply the secrets. So now let us go back and let us apply the secret to the uh, litmus namespace. So now the secret is it in the uh, litmus namespace. Now let us go back and go to the litmus uh, workflows again and go to schedules and let us rerun the schedule again. Now let us uh, go back to the uh, graph view and let us wait whether this time it is successful or not. Okay, now uh, as you see there is a new uh, pod got created. I think uh, it should be uh, killing our uh, EC2 instance. Let me go and refresh here. So as you see here, Nginx is getting uh, uh, stopped. And if I keep refreshing, it will uh, go away. So now it is coming up again because if you go to the uh, chaos agent and if you go back and go inside again, you can see the status of this uh, log. Basically, it is uh, reverting the EC2 instance. So now let us uh, refresh. As you see, Nginx now up and running. Now, if we go back to the uh, chaos center, eventually uh, this status will be uh, pass. And also you can see the reverse chaos also will be pass. So if you see any issues, just go back and uh, refresh your screen again so that you can see the updated uh, status. Now let us wait for a few moments to see all the uh, phases uh, as a green color. Okay, now everything is successful. As you see, it got uh, installed the experiment and then it terminated the EC2 instance for 30 seconds and then it reverted the uh, status again. So this is how you will run your experiments using Letmus Chaos on your uh, AWS resource using the uh, EKS. In next video, we are going to see how we can uh, leverage the IAM service account uh, without exposing your credentials. We are going to leverage the IAM service accounts for Kubernetes, basically IRSA, IRSA concept. And then we will see how we can uh, run the uh, different kind of uh, experiments. So we can try uh, CPU or uh, network, etc. in the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.